Yo, what is up? It's your boy Josh Wolf, and it's time for another session on ZB coding. I'm using a new streaming uh, platform or application called Ecamm Live today, switching over from OBS, Open Broadcaster Studio. And I'm doing that because I want to test out this new platform. Let me show you what it looks like. Let's move the sellable, sellable. lols we switch to this one here much better now i gotta do sidechain compression for the music so that when i'm speaking the music ducks um let's see if we can do that put this in the, in, in view of the stream so actually i might as well do it all live on the stream that would be alt super meta am i right overlays um, okay, it's not streaming the actual Ecamm scenes itself. Well, okay. Here's how you do this. What's this thing here? Okay, loopback audio, USB codec, system audio muted. Why can I not get my headphones to work? Let's have a look. They don't show up in this list. Try and then replug in them, in them, in them, in them. Wow. Oh. Didn't like that at all. It's probably because of this. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the boom 3D thing. Because I think that might be causing some problems. Okay, so. Let's have a look at the blog. No, support. Let's try support. Mm -mm -mm. Camera effects. So I'm giving a talk on uh, at LinuxConf Australia on Monday of next week. And that talk is going to be about... Let's get all these things out of the way so I can just see one clear picture of what I'm doing here. Close my six million other applications that I got open. Um, yeah, that's the ZB source code. Put that one away. What's this? Okay, that's another Chrome window. Close this one. Get rid of that. Okay, good. So now all I'm looking at on this other monitor is like the preview and the utility windows. So if I go window, 
This is an Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live. Window. Show all utility windows. Bam. Okay, I got them all. So there's my camera. Set default camera. Okay. I wonder why the other camera is turned on. Default scene. New scene. Okay. Mm. Now, I want to do side chain. So, and here we'll go side chain compression. So side chain compression is, uh, creates what's called the ducking effect, where when there's a signal coming into this microphone, the music volume goes down. Do they have that? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try looking for ducking. That's kind of the more common name. Sidechain compression is the is the uh, technical term. Using overlays. Hmm. Go to the ecam network. Open. Let's have a look here. If I just Google it straight up. <clears throat> ecam. Um, ducking. Maybe there's like a. Uh, Maybe there is a, like a forum or something where people post about that. Export, expert, uh, mm, okay. Really? Music is ducked when voiceover starts. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Sound levels. See if there's some kind of setting for it. Source, camera, camera. Virtual camera, select all cameras, including switcher. What if I turn that off? Okay, that turned the camera off. Let's turn off this other virtual camera that I created. Mic. Okay, let's reselect it. Overlays. Recording. Record all broadcasts. Turn that off. Output, video monitor. Audio monitor, NDI, virtual cam, okay. Um, install virtual cam, try that later. Bandwidth statistics, let's look at that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, you can't see that. That's my bandwidth output. Comments and reactions. So, I think it's trying to load the comments from restream.io rather than twitch. Let's go to Twitch. Oh no, I got that thing called Chatterino the other day. Set that up. Let's try that. Here we go. It's a separate application called Chatterino. Ta-da! Here we go. Can I change this in here? Moderate, moderate, moderate. Oh, I can't. Okay. General. Hello. Okay. These are the these are the applications rather than my actual stream accounts. Maybe in here. Twitch. Notifications. Channel going live. Okay, external tools. What can you do? Stream link. Command line utility that pipes video streams from various services into a video player such as VLC. Okay. Interesting. So it means you can watch VLC in... Uh, watch Twitch in VLC. Okay, interesting. So that's Chatterino. It's running there, and... Well, let's go to Twitch and see if my stream is actually playing. And if two things, if the stream is playing, it's number one. And then the other one is if there's any chat messages in there that Chatterino is not picking up. Online, okay. It says that we're online. Channel. It says streaming Minecraft. Uh -uh -uh.
Yep, it's playing. No, that green screen looks terrible. The OBS green screen looks a lot better. Nothing in the chat. Okay. What's this thing here? Oh, is that like a pop-up window? Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a pop-up window. And Twitch. What happens if I close it? Okay, what if I go back up and go back down? Huh. Nifty. Nifty. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Producing pro podcasts, right? Talk to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Call me, miking, Skype, phone taps, more phone solutions, finding your voice, bug, sweating the details. Pops, level playing fields, mix it down. Pass, tag, you're it. Okay, so um, let's just search on the page for ducking. Well, that's interesting. I haven't seen a page scroll like that before. Nope. Duck. Uh, sequence. How, intro music with voiceover. Music is ducked when the voiceover starts. Yeah. Okay. One of three. So there's that one, that one, and this one. Volume automation. Okay. Dude. If it, <clears throat> if it doesn't have sidechain. Okay. Two things so far. The green screen looks terrible, uh, and then sidechain compression. Uh, okay, doesn't look like you can duck. This green screen, man. What happens if I crank this light right up? Really? OBS's um, green screen feature is way better than this. Okay, can I... One thing you can do in OBS that I don't see if you can do it in here is you can actually set the um, green screen. Fade level. How about this? Ah, uh, okay. Fade level. Well, that looks pretty cool. Too much! Not enough. Goldilocks zone. Just right. Okay. Blur background, what's that do? Nah. Transparent picture in picture. Mask edges. Okay, that looks good. Okay, that works. That works and it works well. I like it, it's good. I think I can drag this. Yeah, I can. Okay, that's cool. There you go. Okay, so the ducking of the volume, that's an, that's an issue. Okay, I can just sit. Okay, I got loopback audio. I wonder if loopback can do um, sidechain compression. Let's have a look. Um, okay. I think this is just audio routing. I don't think I can do sidechain compression. See, I'm routing the audio from Google Chrome into these output channels. And then so I've selected loopback audio as one of my audio channels for the um, stream. Well, let's see if loopback can do ducking. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Rogue Amoeba's loopback app can be used to disable FaceTime audio ducking. Ducking. Pulse audio. Mm. Okay. Loopback. Loopback. Um, remove FaceTime audio ducking. Yeah, okay, you can do that, but... Oh. For reals. Can't do audio ducking. Ecamm Live. Seems pretty cool apart from that. Ecamm. Ducking. Let's try compressor.
I actually have a hardware compressor. <laughs> I could route the audio. Oh man. No, that would be hardcore. Use the hardware compressor. Actually, in that case, um, maybe there's another Rogue Amiga product that can do it. I'm on a Mac, by the way, if you didn't guess. Rogue Amoeba. Rogue Amoeba, quality audio software for Mac OS, audio hijack. Record soundboards. Maybe this one. Um, could be that. Or it could be this. Airfoil. Fission, that's quite neat. Rapid fire soundboards. Oh no, okay, this is for playing clips. Okay, it's not that. Here we go. Truly powerful control, free download, sound control so good it ought to be built in. Equalizer. Per application, system, system wide effects. Okay, well there's a free download. Quality audio adjusted, degraded 20 minutes per launch. Let's download it and check it out. Okay, got it. How much does it cost to buy if it turns out to be a winner? That's what? What? Did that just go up from 29 to 32? Let's try that again. 29, 32. What? You gotta like click it fast enough. Yes, now, now, now. Oh. Sound Source 4 upgrade 21 goes up from 19, 29. Ah, oh, too slow. <laughs> Dude, let's try that again. Back. Purchase. Let's see if we can click it in time. 29. Nah, dude, I clicked it when it said 29. That's weird. It must be... I think it... I think it... Loads a server-side rendered page that has 29, and then it hydrates it with JSON. Let's have a look. Uh, network. Okay, reload. XHR requests. So it loads the page at 29 and then switches to 32. But no, it didn't download the request. Okay, if it's not if it's not fetching the 32 over the network, it means the, the 29 and the 32 got downloaded at the same time. All prices. AU products. Okay, let's have a look at this pricing information. Gross 31.9, net 29, tax 2.9. Okay, so <laughs> it down weird. It downloads the pricing data, displays the net, I don't know what, gets the tax, and then at some point calculates the tax. Okay, it's, it's, it's a weird user experience, dude. Anyway, it's 32 US if it works. Alright, let's unzip it and see if we can make the ducking work with this thing. Sound source. Um, I'll launch it from downloads. It's going to add it up here, I guess. Open. Next. Instantly, yeah, next. Mm-hmm, next. Easy audio effects, that's what we're after. Always running right in your mem mem menu bar. Okay. No redirect. Redirect audio too. Okay. So. Equalizer. Flat add effect. Apple. Compressor. Dynamics. Multiband compressor. Loading the AU unit. Here we go. Details. Heavy compression. Pre gain, post gain, bands. No sidechain. Mmm. Okay.
Okay, so the multi-band compressor. Nope. Audio units. That's what AU stands for. Multi-band compressor. You can get some good effects with multi-band compressor. So let's try this. Um, it's called an Apple audio unit. Plugins. What a rabbit hole, man. Sidechain compressor. <laughs> it's just built into iOS. Nope. Units and sidechain. OS X. Apple Developer Forum. Audio compressor AUV3 plugin 4 plus. Experimental sidechain. Pump House is a simple and excellent compressor. Sidechain compress your pads or baseline. Let's have a look at these. Documentation. Possible to have a sidechain input using V3 audio units API and OS X. Audio units feature the concept of separate audio buses. Audio units. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Theoretically possible. Yep. Okay. Pump house, sidechain pumping made easy. iOS door, sidechaining. Rough Rider 2 code base, but it's an iOS app. Rough Rider 2. Audio damager. Cool. Uh, audio compressor, iPhone, iPad, Mac, let's do the, no, go back, apps, how do I search the app store, app store, Sidechain compressor, baby. <laughs> this is a groovy track, this one. Um, okay, let's keep looking. App Store, Kick and Sidechain Compressor, Wood Presser. High-end audio compressor, standalone app. New free sidechain compressor released for PC and Mac. It's funny, iOS. Six of the best pumping sidechain VST AUs. Instant sidechain compressor. Lots of them. iPhone and iPad. Okay. Free ATK sidechain compressor plugin for PC and Mac. Stereo sidechain. VS2, VST3, AU. Free. Available as an audio unit. Synth Anatomy. There you go. How the plugin works. Download. Download the latest version. Um, Audacity. I wonder if Audacity can be used for live processing of sound. Oh, um, that's right. I bought Logic Pro back in the day, and it came with what's that app called? Soundstage or something? And that can do it. Uh, let's have a look at my CPU usage. It's okay. Okay, 
Okay, Chatterino is not missing any uh, messages. We at least know that much. Open the DMG. It's an installer package. Can't be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. Open anyway. Continue. Read me. Continue. Oh, hang on. Uh, sure. Agree. 13.1 megs. Let's do this. Touch ID. Close. Move that to the bin. Uh, okay. Install finished. Sound source. Where are you? Oh, sound source degrades the sound quality after. Here it is here. Trial mode. Okay. Remove that multi compressor. And let's add an effect. Apple. Preferences. I guess I should have checked this uh, magic boost. Okay. I should have checked to see where it was going to install that thing, right? You think? Can I drag this out? Maybe with this? No. Let's hit control N. Here we go. Listen here. Okay, so uh so let's LS this thing. No, not that thing. Where'd that go? Got it? Yeah. Okay, it's there. So I think I need to it's called the ATK sidechain compressor. Let's go back here. Close that. Add an effect. Apple. Nope. I think I need to restart it. So we'll go quit. Restart. Mm, uh, start manually for now. Google Chrome add an effect. Ah, here it is. Sidechain compressor. Sidechain. Link the channels. Okay, but... Oh. How do I define the sidechain? Goodness gracious me. Sidechain, sure. Middle side? No. Okay, where'd I download it from? Okay. How do I define the sidechain? It's written in C++. ATK sidechain compressor. How the plugin works. Middle side mode. Linked channel modes. Features the following characteristics. Two separate channels that can be linked together. Middle side processing. Control between peak power, RMS, color selection. I don't understand a lot of that, but whatever. Additional information.
Here's the announcement. Okay. This update changes storage format and allows linked channels to be steered by a mix of power coming from each channel. Make it gain specific, rest the plugin, optional middle side processing, side chain. Working either on either channel separately or in middle side. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, sidechain compressor. Two channels. Yeah. Linked mode. Mix the input signal with the compressed signal. The sidechain channels can be used to steer the gain stage. Read more. Okay, let's go back to this thing. Nope. Here. Sound source. Boost. FX. Flat. Mm. Is there a headphone setting? Let's try bass booster. Yeah, I can hear that. Okay, but let's go back to flat. Okay. Here is the ATK sidechain compressor. Oh, let's take that back to attack, release, yeah, threshold, ratio, softness, color, quality, makeup, makeup, okay, dry, wet, sidechain. Okay. Let's try that again. Sidechain turned off. There might be an additional dialog that pops up. Okay, doesn't look like that one's going to work. Mm, is there anything else that can do here? Okay. What does this do? Okay, that increases my head headphone volume. Input device. Uh, sound effects. Si oh, how can this be such a difficult task? Six of the best VST. Nicky Romero. Um, come on. Try this side chain compressor Mac. I'll broaden back out. Okay, let's open that one. VST AUs compressor plugin with side chain. Side chainer. So Let's try looking for the other search term, which is mic ducking. Mic ducking on the Mac. Audio ducking on a Mac. Okay, let's have a look at that. Audio ducking in an OBS forum. Easy. Easy. Auto duck. Sound control. Let's have a look. Sidechain compressor, AUVST. Mm. 
Mhm. Audio hijack. Ducking. Audio hijack. Okay. I'm using loopback rather than audio hijack. Auto ducking. $19. Sound control. Iris, what's that? Mm hmm. Save what you see. Okay, so I think we can. Why have they got so many apps? Like, what's the difference between sound source, loopback? And what's this? Audio hijack. How much is audio hijack? Sixty five bucks. Well, let's try it. Audio hijack. Here we go. Open. Next. Close the tour. Sure. New session. Podcast. Let's try it. Mm. Delete this block. No recording. Delete this block. Delete this block. I'm just going to build it myself. Okay. Okay. I need a virtual device. Advanced virtual device. Audio unit effects. Here's how it would look. Um, USB codec, right? Yep. Advanced, it's fine. Application. And then uh, Google Chrome. Okay. Ducking effect. The ducking block triggers when the overlay source reaches the specified threshold. Overlay audio will play through while other sources have their volume ducked. Okay, at all other times the overlay source is muted while other sources play through at full volume. So what that means is it has a noise gate and a 
and a um, sidechain compressor. Okay, but how do I assign one to each? The overlay source. Okay, this one gets ducked. It's the overlay source. Okay, so duct volume, threshold. Okay, ducking is on. Now, the output source. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yep, that works. I don't think that you can hear the ducking because it's going to the external micro uh, external headphones. Okay, that's another interesting thing that you're only getting sound on one channel. Wonderful. Okay, so loop back. Mm. Amazing. <laughs> Dude, if I had like literally a patch bay and the units like it'd be so easy to do this but trying to do this in software is crazy okay this ducking effect works but I got another problem which is that my USB audio is on a single channel Maybe I can fix that in sound preferences. Sound. USB audio codec, balance left, right, right, nothing, left, left, nothing. Okay. Output volume, mute. Hello. Um, okay. Input. Okay, so the USB audio codec has no input controls. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Mac. Um. Merge. Oh. Input. Audio. Merge channels. Maybe this. Audio devices. Find to go to utilities. Audio MIDI setup.
output. This is the input. Um, mute through. Format. Plus, create an aggregate device. Let's see if we can do this. Two in. Sub devices. Front left, front right. Can you do anything with these? Sound output, an aggregate device. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So, right channel two. Yes. Okay, that does it. Okay. So, that gets the sound on two channels, but you don't hear that yet because it's going to the external headphones. So, I think now I create an aggregate output device. Um, in here? No. Live app audio, two out. Could I put it through that? Mm-hmm. Um How's that look? However, the ducking doesn't work. Delete this block. Oh my god, now it's gone crazy. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I have this working here. I need to get it to some kind of output device that I can then send into here as an input. Well, let's have a look at the available output devices. The headset, speakers, the USB card, live app audio, let's try it. Ah, my headset has disappeared. Okay, how's that sound? Complicated! Okay, so ducking works. This sounds okay here. But I gotta be able to pipe it into the ECAM. Zero ins, two out.
let's hit the Googles. So what I want to do is Rogue Amiga. Yeah, what's with the clicking? Okay. Quit. Okay, now I can't hear anything. Downloads. Audio hijack. Go. Okay. So Rogue Amiga. figure out how to do audio hijack and loop back okay it's right there first hit Anyway, I know it's possible, so let's have a look. Monitors, output channels, plus. New virtual device. Beautiful. Loopback audio two. Audio hijack, output device, loopback audio two, loopback audio two, and so now you should have the ducking, okay, and then so that I can actually hear what is going on, I turn that on, now I have Audio ducking. The music goes down when I talk. And then comes back up when I'm not talking. Okay. The overlay threshold. So turn this all the way down. And then when I talk, the volume goes down. Okay, how's that? Okay, but does this even sound any good? Well, let's try that sidechain compressor.
this do anything? No, this doesn't up the volume. Delete this block. So it's not retunable. Turning up the hardware noise gate. Okay, how's that sound? Oh, that music must be annoying, it's so loud. Right. However, a bit loud. Here's what we're listening to. Okay, so that's the background music now. It ducks down when I'm speaking, and then it comes back up when I stop speaking. Okay. And I can hear myself in my headphones, which I don't necessarily want to do. Okay, what I want to do is I want this to go into Ecamm Live. I want to hear the music in my headphones, but I don't want to hear the microphone.
Okay, I can hear the music. Okay, can I control the volume here? Nope. Got my headphone volume on maximum, but the music is really low. Oh, this is so much easier in hardware. Yeah. Rail limitations activated. So now you're getting trash sound. Let's kill that. Okay, it is pretty cool that they let you test this out. Okay, so audio loopback, loopback audio 2 is my duct volume compressor kind of thing. This one here is my monitor. So for monitoring, I turn. I can hear myself now. Really, what I want to, what I want to be able to, mm. ah, got it. The virtual device in here. Now I'm monitoring the audio that's going to the stream. Actually. The long kind of return of the ducking, I, I, at first I thought I should turn that off or shorten it. That's called the release. So quickly it kicks in, it's called the attack. And then how long the effect remains after I stop speaking is called the release. The release there. So here's where the release is. There. sound is kind of cool i turn this up here how's that sound that's the volume in the stream itself okay and so when i'm speaking it goes up to here turn it down to here Complicated. So I would need to fire up this uh, audio hijack podcast fucker and use this loopback audio with this pretty complex setup. And this is what it sounds like when I'm just listening to music. I can, oh yeah, I can turn up the volume here. I can get an, a, um, a meter on each of these. I know what to do. I know what to do. Meters. Outputs. Advanced. Menu bar meters. Nope. Uh, oh, menu bar meters could be cool. Try a stereo VU meter. Like that. That's what we wanted to see. RMS meter.
Okay, when I start speaking, this doesn't go down because that's the input volume. Ducking is active. Yeah, that shows you when ducking is active. This is a pretty cool, this is pretty cool. I like it. Now that I actually got it working. I wonder how much CPU this all uses. Poor Audio D is using 21.6 because we're doing a bunch of audio processing in real time. Get back audio. Yeah, today's um today's stream is all about the audio. I was gonna do ZB catching up on ZB 2020. I'll, I'll do another stream later on today about that. Um, okay, so it's looking good. Looking good. Is there any way I can rename these? Yes, I can. Okay. So this one here is not loopback audio. This one is um. Put my live stream monitor. Now, if I rename this, I wonder if it'll break the connection. Call it live stream with ducking. Break any connections there. Change the name in here. Didn't change the name in what's this app called? Um Ecamm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a solution. I go to my live monitor and then I switch to that, turn this one off. This is the sound that's coming through on the live stream. Cool. I'm liking it. Right back. I already bought that. Uh, so I might need to buy a jack. Quite like it. I quite like it. Just a ball. Fifty-nine USD plus tax. So I'd say what happens here is they auto detect the region. No, I don't know how they, uh, maybe they, no, I don't know how they calculate the tax. Box for a book. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to know how to do a secret screen because if I'm going to buy this, I'll put my credit card details in. I don't want those in the stream. So let's have a look at Ecamm secret screen. Have a look at Stream Deck. Configure Stream Deck. Cam Live. Go live, pause, run scene, next scene, blank, screen share, show hide, mute, show hide overlay. Place the action. Okay, I gotta create an overlay in Ecamm. So, click on this. Overlays, new image overlay. Select an image file, workspace, 
to mm, rip. Resize it using the pinch. Zoom gesture on your trackpad. To fill. Cool. Cool. I, like I like it. it. Although my, my green, green screen's, screen's not big, big enough, enough there. So, let's do this. this. Cool. I like, I like it. it. Blurred Blurred background. background. Sea. Sound, Sound of, of the sea. sea. And restart, restart what do you hijack? hijack. And, and we're, we're back. back. Okay. okay. to this one. It's the secret screen of the stream deck. Overlay. Boom. Secret screen. We're good. Put this little screen down here. Secret screen. I wonder if I can put my camera on top of the secret screen. Let's do a movie for an animated overlay. What kind of timer. A countdown. That's cool. Get rid of that. I don't know how I delete that overlay. Turn it on. Oh, what does this do? System open. TV. Minecraft. Controls the lighting. down up 50% okay. secret screen working okay I got audio ducking working got the secret screen working and um, what else do I want to get done One thing that I have working with Open Broadcaster Studio and my custom code for the Stream Deck is when I turn on my secret screen, it starts blinking. 
so I can see secret screen is on. Okay, let's see if I can mute the audio. Audio, 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 soundboard. Camera switcher, mute. Mute's the primary audio. We want that. There's, 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 there's a one science, science sound, sound channel, channel that's, that's the, the primary, primary audio. audio. And I can't, I can't seem, seem to change, change it. it. Okay. Mm. And it doesn't look like I... Fractions. Rogue Amiga. Sound flow. It's sound flow. day free trial rather than 10 minutes oh, dude. oh my god javascript apis oh. 30 day free trial let's do it i want my email address that's cool Okay. Again. Google. want to be able to do is mute my microphone but not mute Google Chrome Maybe like a system thing that does that Yeah, 
hot take. Her hot take. My vo my local volume is really low. Any reason for that? The volume is on max. Oh, probably because of this. Get rid of that. Here. Delete it. Mm. Wing. Create like a feedback loop. Is it? No. Pro speakers. Okay. There's no sound coming out of them. Quite ready to commit to audio hijack just yet. Three thirty. Hey, sounds low. The streamer, mute mic, bind to a key. Consistent preferences. And access unlock. Privacy. That's not very nice. Can't move that. Yeah, privacy. A lot to make changes. Indicating. Yeah, I still know how to type. Access permission to be able to talk to the system and automate. Make sure to check what the sound flows. Yeah. Security privacy grant access to sound. When you're done, step one open system preferences. File, firewall, no privacy. I say it's in here. So to automate your suddenly my mic has gone very low. I think that's a quick here when you're done. Here when you're done. Checking not a sound source sound low. But it's not even in here. Oh there it is. Bad. <clears throat> okay, so go back to audio hijack. Thing here. Volume control? No, there is not. Here. Login. Sign up with my Google account. Oh, you're kidding! Okay, they're not using my system browser, so I'm not logged in. Any secret screen time? Oh. I mean, my password is uh, start out when I type it in, but even so. One like this. 
Wrong password. Okay. Not that one either. Oh, it is. Okay. Into your... Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh. Fire that up. Location code entered. <sighs> Login. Yeah, why is my microphone so low all of a sudden? Oh man. Okay, close that. It's going to say, do you want to delete it? Yeah, move to the bin. Now where's the volume control for my microphone? Loop back. Got my live stream thing here. Audio hijack. Peak RMS. Fucking. in here from the USB audio codec this is the input that's the stream channel volume no you can't control it there's no control on there gain no that gain is on max My goodness, the sound flow thing looks intense. Next. Subscription. What? Just, uh, we've got a 30 day trial, so. Where's the volume control for my mic though? Weirdest thing. Back to loop back. Um, I'm just listening to the music. I'm listening to the music with my mic. through Bring this up this delete key delete this. okay so no monitors I've got the monitor going that turn on those yeah hijack here's my input device suddenly my mic has gone to a low volume because of this about if I switch to that? Nope. Select my external headphones here. But no, they're selected in here. What about if I turn the volume up? Okay. This volume went down. That's all that happened.
Okay, how is... Yeah, the mic volume's okay. False alarm. False alarm. False... Pa false alarm. False alarm. False alarm. That was a false alarm. That was a false alarm. That was a false alarm. That... That was a false alarm. That was a false alarm. That was a false alarm. For the thre getting the threshold right so that it doesn't duck the music when nothing's happening. And it does duck the music once I start speaking, like as soon as I start speaking. Otherwise, other. Mm. Okay, I don't want the music to duck when I'm breathing, but I do want it to duck when I'm speaking. So I gotta get those thresholds right. Let's have a look at sound flow. Next. Create a profile, my default profile, sure, whatever. Default shortcuts. Guess I could go full ghetto and just use audio hijack and keep restarting it every 10 minutes. Next. Show me all the few show me all the features. Or let me choose which packages to be available. All the things. All the things. Files. You got this one. Okay, this is pretty intense. Let's see if there's like a getting started tutorial. Piece of software called Mute Mic. Audio hijack. Sound flow. Okay, installation. Done that. Learn.
this cost because i got to see whether it's worth investing the time to learn it if it's like mega bucks forget it mm, what four dollars a five dollars a month okay download app stream deck support nine dollars a month Seven months of audio hydrack. Ah, oh, shouldn't have done that. Let's quit. Nope. Not that one. Even clear what sound flow does. tools sound miner I think I might be better off try this okay if we go to npmjs org ooh. search packages so mac audio What I'm looking for here is a way to programmatically mute a microphone or an audio input source. Six years ago. This looks like it mutes the entire system volume, but maybe it gives me like a insight into how to do it. Okay, OSA script. Okay, so mute input OSA script. There's no way to mute an input source via Apple Script. Um, okay, a Mac microphone mute keyboard shortcut. Script microphone mute. visual indicator boo
What was I thinking? That's the obvious thing to do. Like it has snapped a grid. That's cool. Can I rename this? Nope. We're about to hit the limit again. This seems pretty cool though. Looks like the solution. Okay. Mute only the mic. Mute, mute, mute only the mic. The way I did it in my other setup is mute input. I did it with uh, muting one of the sources in OBS, in the Open Broadcaster Studio. Oh, that's cool. Green when it's hot, red when it's... What's up? That's cool. Twenty four hour production stream deck configuration. Okay. This would be suited super ghetto <clears throat> if there were a way 
to sidechain this without outputting the microphone. So the only effect that the microphone input has in audio hijack is to duck the music. It doesn't actually play through. Lua programming environment for Mac automation. Hammerspoon. Staggeringly powerful automation. We can code our way through this audio device. Yes. Okay, cool. We can do it with that. <clears throat> okay, that's a bit insane, and I'm gonna do it. DSer. Denoise, dehum, de click. No DSA. Okay, I have to write some Lua. Let's go. Cool. There's always there is always a way. So I need to install Hammerspoon. I need to write the Lua to get the microphone. This one. Not that you can see it. This one. And then once I get the microphone, I just set it to mute or unmute. Okay, it's soluble. I wonder about getting feedback to the stream deck. It should be okay. Okay, I got the secret screen. I got sidechain compression working. Don't yet have muting the microphone but keeping the music playing. Soundflow is overkill by the look of it. There's one more check in here. Actually, you can write a Java. You can write JavaScript in here. However, it's ten dollars a month. Wait, like seventy bucks for audio hijack, Hammerspoon, and some Lua coding.
and a spoon. Figure out how to get it installed. Bridge between the operating system and a Lua scripting engine. Love it. Love it. Okay, we've got one minute left before the audio hound audio hijack sound stuff kicks in the loop back music only okay it's a bit distracting when I can hear my own voice actually in the uh, in the monitor what if I can automate loop back Do you think I saw something about that? Let's have a look. Eight seconds. I could do it if it has hot keys. Okay. Well, that's all I'm going to do today. We'll do one other thing actually. And that is uh, a stream start and stop button. I'll do that and I'll call it quits for today. Okay, we're back. Actually, in the stream deck, I should have... This would be the quickest way to get closer to it. Uh, configure the stream deck. Get rid of that. So, here. Like, application launcher. System. Key open. Okay, we've got open here. Applications. Drag and drag one, drop it. Back, loop back, loop back, H O J K L L. Okay, let's see if it works. Loop back. Yep. Audio hijack. Good. 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 Okay. And then so here I should put um cam live. Very good, very good. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't need the name. So the other one I wanted to do was the start stream, stop stream thing. So if I put it here, um, oh, yeah, so this would be in the Ecamm Live stuff. Go live. Okay, cool. It says finish. Okay, great. Very good. Yeah, I quite like this setup. I quite like it.
I wonder if there's a hotkey for me to switch these two. Nothing there. Um, services. Install Ace, make sure that is audio core engine or something. So the other way to check that would be um it's called loop back. Stream deck. See if it's solved by someone else. Nope. This has been fixed. Mm-hmm. Hammer spoon. Um, I think that was what I said I was gonna do now, so I'll put this into applications. Okay. Sound source we didn't need, sound flow we didn't need. Wonder how easy it is to uninstall that stuff. So let's go down sound source, sound flow, get rid of those. Screen flow. Ben. Screen flow is a good screen recording program. Um, however, Hey, hey Andrew the best 101, 2 a.m. looking for beans, Milton XS789, g'day. What's this thing do? How to load the version information. Um, I think there's a way I can have this like, highlight. Add my phrase, no. Delete, remove. Notifications. Flash taskbar. Close enough. It's cool. Okay, so, um, hammer spoon, sound flow, screen, screen flow, yeah, it's a good screen recorder, but, um, I upgraded my machine, I got a new machine, transferred it over, can't remember what my, my key is to log into it, I mean, I'm going to figure out how to get it either, I should do that too, that's, that's uh, but maybe this thing can do it, 65 US dollars, it is pretty good, it is pretty good, I mean, what I've been able to do with it in this short time, loop back, What I've been able to do with it in the short time, I'm pretty impressed with it. Loopback I already had so I could record like system audio. I actually bought it when I was recording a, a Skype call, but since then I've started using Zencaster for recording my podcast. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to get it, but uh, next thing for me is the hammer spoon, so it'll be lure coding, which I've wanted to do for quite some time, and this gives me the perfect excuse or justification, pretext, whatever. And then later, I'll do the ZB 2020 kickoff kind of state of the ZB Nation um, review of GitHub, which is what I was planning to do now, but also I'm giving my... Uh, streaming talk at linuxconf.au on Monday so I wanted to get this ecam kind of under my belt for that so I'll talk about OBS I've been streaming with OBS for a few months now and then I'll talk about uh, my experience with ecam live 
which seems uh, seems quite cool so far. So I got I want to do a few more streams with Ecam before I do Linux Conf. So I've got a Minecraft stream on Sunday, and I'll do the CB stream uh, tomorrow probably. It's going to be tomorrow Brisbane time. It's either going to be early in the morning, like after one or something, or it's going to be uh, much later, like same sort of time as this, but tomorrow. Alrighty, stay frosty.